In this podcast, we will speak about the age-related demoscopic nevus patterns. Studies suggest that the number and demoscopic patterns of nevi vary with age. In fact, if we look here, we can see that nevus counts increase from puberty until midlife and thereafter decrease. The topic of this podcast will be delivered in four separate parts which are related to the main periods of life. These main periods of life are childhood, adolescence, adulthood and late adulthood. It is advisable to listen to these four podcasts beginning with part one followed by parts two, three and and four. In part four we will speak about the demoscopic nevus pattern of the elderly. It has been said that we are born and we will die without nevi. While in adolescence and young adulthood we have a high number of nevi, usually elderly people will show just a few nevi. If we look more carefully at the back of this 70-year-old woman, we can still see a nevus indicated by the arrow. These nevi in elderly are usually easily recognized clinically as dermal nevi. Dermal nevi upon dermoscopy show typically a papillomatous surface with some vessels within the papilla and the residual brown coloration. Elderly persons therefore typically reveal a few dermal nevi which also at times show residual globular pattern. Let's have a look at the back of this elderly man. Again indicated by the arrow, a small nodule. And if we look by the dermoscopy, we can see again these vessels within the dermal papilla, which are also called coma-like vessels, some residual brown globules and also a central terminal hair. Yet these dermal nevi of the elderly are thought to be present since early childhood. As discussed in part one of this podcast, globular nevi are the prevalent nevus pattern in children and they are thought to be persisting lesions through most of the lifetime acquiring eventually the otherwise stereotypical appearance of a dermal nevus in the elderly. In podcast number three, we also learned that most nevi in adults reveal a reticular pattern. In fact, nevus counts in adults are high and most nevi will show a reticular pattern. So what happened with the reticular nevi of adulthood in the elderly? It seems that reticular nevi fade away, undergo involution and therefore disappear throughout lifetime. So, in other words, reticular nevi, in contrast to persisting globular nevi, seem to disappear and involute throughout lifetime. Accordingly, late adulthood is the period of nevus involution. <laughs>